Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Vicki. In today's video, it's a collab video. We're going to be going over the 2018 wins and fails of the year. Wendy Valencia created this collab. If you don't know who Wendy is, where have you been? Um, Wendy is an amazing lady. She asked a bunch of collaborators to come together and discuss their wins and fails for the year. So I'm so excited to be part of this group. You'll find everyone else's links down below. Please feel free to check out all the videos and support our YouTube community by subscribing, giving them a like, and even possibly sharing this video as well as theirs. So with that, let's talk about um, my life and my family's wins and fails for 2018. So for the first one, I'm actually, I feel like these are more challenges and blessings um, because I don't feel like it's a total fail, but we'll go through and I'll interweave what's been going on. So just to recap for those that are new, we started our debt-free journey at the end of 2017. Um, it took us a few months to figure out just our budget, like most people who are starting to budget. It takes you a few months, right? But at the beginning of 2018, we found out we were pregnant. So we had to pause our debt snowball. I was a little frustrated, but at the same time, super excited that we were going to, you know, have another child. What we decided to do was save up for a baby fund and just throwing all of our extra snowball to this baby fund. Our goal was to save $50,000 just in the event we had had um, some medical issues with our first son and um, I didn't know how long I would be out and I just wanted to kind of get a healthy um, amount to save. So with that, that's what we did. Um, in March, our car, our paid off car was totaled, unfortunately. So that was a challenge. Um, but the blessing in that was that my in-laws had a car that they weren't using and so they gave us their car. So we got a free car, such a huge blessing. The next thing that happened was May. In May, I was six months pregnant and my company laid me off. So that was a huge challenge because we were using that insurance for myself. But the blessing in that was I got a severance package. They paid four months of COBRA so that I could continue with my pregnancy with the doctor that I had started. And also I was able to fully fund our baby fund emergency fund. So that was great. And while it was a challenge to get laid off, it was a blessing because towards the end of my pregnancy, I had a little bit of complications. I had to go to the doctor a couple times a week. And had I been working, it would have been really stressful to try to get the time off. So it was a blessing that I was home. The other blessing was I wound up having my daughter four weeks early. So again, that was just another blessing. And I was able to kind of enjoy just being at home, which has been nice. Lastly, towards the end of this year, I had started interviewing, looking for work, and right as my unemployment ran out, I got a job offer the next day. So while having one income and unemployment was a little challenging, um, the blessing is is that I got a job. So I'm so excited. I will say having an emergency fund really my husband and I a sense of peace, and we were able to just stay very frugal and enjoy this maternity leave. And I was able to spend more time at home had, you know, had I had a job, I would have had to go back way sooner than I'm doing today. So my daughter is four and a half months um, as I'm recording this video. The other thing um, I didn't, I failed to mention, when we did start our debt-free journey, we started out with $120,000 in debt. And that included a 401k loan. It included my husband's car loan. It included a home equity line of credit that I had gotten prior to even meeting my husband on a condo that we still own. And it also includes my student loans. When my husband and I got married, he came to this marriage with zero debt. So um, he inherited all this debt, God bless him. And he's been such a great and amazing teammate and contributor and I really owe him a lot. We were able, before we put pause on our debt snowball, to pay off the 401k loan and the car note. So we had only two notes left, and that was on the HELOC and the student loans. So we were sitting on about $97,000 left. Now I am so excited that 
you know, I had told you guys that we had saved up that money in the baby fund, which we then renamed the emergency fund and the blessing of the year, the, if I had drum roll and I don't know how to edit that in, so I'm just going to go with it guys. But, um, I would say that the biggest win, the financial win was that we were able to not really touch our savings account. We have just paid off our HELOC loan. It was $41,000 and some change. And I'm so excited to report that we've paid off 60% of our debt before the end of the year. So we're going to go into 2019 owing $47,803. So that is just amazing. We're going to be under $50,000 going into 2019. And I can't tell you how excited I am. So those are our wins and losses, our challenges and blessings. Everything, I always look for the silver lining and the blessing in disguise. And really, well, we did have a lot of, I don't know if they were really called Murphys, but challenges this year. There was a, amazing things that happened. We had our baby girl. She was healthy. She came early, but everything is fine. We were able to not touch our savings and put to the next debt. And then also I was able to get a job that I know I'm going to love. I'm going to be able to work from home, be home-based. I am going to have some travel. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll come along on my travels. But I'm so excited for 2019 and what that brings and hope that we can get this next debt paid off in 2019. So with that, I will let you go. Have an amazing, amazing New Year's and hope to see you in 2019 over on my channel. And again, this is a collab, so please check out everyone else's videos. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Have a great one. Bye.